Hello, it's me, it's Grudsop Monkey. How are you doing? How are you? It is, of course, time for more letters around the world. And today is the turn of the letter O. Um, it was quite difficult to find somewhere interesting in a country you haven't already visited yet. I'm starting to run out of se uh, selections and things. Um, I'll do my best. I think I found somewhere vaguely interesting. Um, it's in a country we haven't been to. I did it. I found one. We are going to... Are you ready for this? Ouagadougou. Um, first up, the flag, of course. Um, there is no city flag for Ouagadougou. Slightly frustrating. Oh, zoom, zoom, zoom. Yes. Um, the city of Ouagadougou does not have city flag. Um, really beginning to uh, think that I should have bothered with making the flags because so many places have let me down. But here we are. This is the flag of Burkina Faso because Ouagadougou is the capital of Burkina Faso. Um, also, you may note that the flag is losing a bit of its green on the bottom. Um, my printer has started to break down a little bit. It's running out of ink. Uh, so I've had to colour it in. I've done it myself, but it's red. It's green. It's got a lovely yellow star in the middle. Uh, that, is, that is the flag of Burkina Faso, not of Ouagadougou. But Ouagadougou is the capital of Burkina Faso. Also, Ouagadougou, quite fun to say. So, the name Ouagadougou, other than that, is... Uh, but it goes back to the 15th century, uh, when the area was inhabited by the Ninti tribes. These tribes have been in constant conflict with each other at the time, until 1441, when a Yonyozi leader called Wubri led his group to an important victory, and then declared himself as ruler of the Ninti tribes. Um, he renamed the area from its existing name of Kumbitenga to... Bear with me here, because this is very long as an actual name... Um, Wage Sabre Soba Kuembem Tenga. Um, that's as close as I'm going to get. It's, uh, it translates to Head War Chief's Village. Um, and then the name Ouagadougou was later adopted uh, as the Francophone style spelling of this new name. Um, because the French currently own it. We'll get to that in a moment. Um, the city became the capital of the Mossi Empire but didn't become the residence of the Mossi Emperor until 1681. Uh, we should note here, in the Mossi Empire were a number of different powerful kingdoms that dominated the upper Volta River in West Africa for hundreds of years, and then when the French took over in 1896, after World War II, they changed it uh, to Burkina Faso. Don't tell me you never learn anything when you watch my videos. I teach you all the things, all the historical things, that you never need to remember again in your life. Yes, um, let's talk about the uh, city of Ouagadougou itself. Um, it's in West Africa, so unsurprisingly it's quite hot. Um, in July and August it gets a lot of rain though. It um, has an estimated population of nearly 1.5 million, many of whom travel around on motorcycles and mopeds. Um, there is a private vendor for motorcycles called JC Megamond, um, who sell around 50,000 cycles every year. So everybody is using motorcycles and mopeds. There are some cyclists as well. Obviously a few cars, but two wheels is better than four in Burkina Faso, apparently. I um, should also mention the National Museum of Music, which exhibits all the musical instruments of Burkina Faso. Their collection is constantly growing, instruments of all different types. Every instrument on display in the museum is a one-of-a-kind production. They've had one specially made just for the museum every time, which is quite cool. Um, it's kind of a place I'd like to visit, but I don't think there's much else at uh, Ouagadougou to go visit, um, because I couldn't find a lot else, to be quite honest. Um, Wikipedia has not been helpful to me this time. So, I'm afraid that's it for Ouagadougou, at uh, the end of this entry for Letters Around the World. I hope you enjoyed it, and also enjoyed me absolutely butchering the names of everything. Um, although, Ouagadougou, very fun to say, as I say. I have enjoyed saying that. Sounds a little bit like Agadou, um, the song, which you're now all going to have stuck in your head. Ha 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 Enjoy that one. Um, I will see you soon. Um, just remember, I am a sword monkey doing his best. Um, yeah. That, that's the video, I guess. Um, I'll see you soon for another video. Okay, bye.